Judith Light. <laughs> Names are no accident, and Judith shines light wherever she goes, honey. Judith embodies different archetypes, the artist, the activist, the advocate. I am so proud to call this woman my friend. You know, many of us, we have felt so connected to her for the mothers and the mother figures that she has played on everything from Who's the Boss to Ry the Ryan White story to Transparent. Yeah. But tonight, as we honor Judith, I would like to reflect on her role as an LGBTQ ally and for the way that she has helped to define why allies can be critical for our community as they are right now. Yeah, clap, go ahead. When Judith witnessed friend after friend who, who lost their lives to HIV AIDS, she could not stand idly by and she did not stand idly by. She pushed for change in the theatrical world, demanding more inclusive voices on stage and off. Decade after decade, she has aligned herself with communities that have needed allies, accomplices with megaphones, women, people of color, and the LGBTQ community. That's what she's done. Judith has brought her vulnerability to the stage and her strength to the streets, standing arm in arm with us and with GLAD in the fight for recognition and for truth. And she made us laugh and cry and love harder with every role. GLAD's Excellence in Media Award is presented to LGBTQ allies who use media to make a significant difference in promoting acceptance of LGBTQ people. And tonight, I am proud to present it to my friend, my mentor, who I fondly refer to as Ma, who has been waiting three years to receive it. As I live and breathe, ladies and gentlemen, Judith Light! <laughs> Just so, I am so, God, I'm just so moved and so humbled by you being here and by your kind words and your generous words and here with your openly queer Afro-Latino <laughs> self. <laughs> and your, your Oscar and multiple award winning everything else self. <laughs> Anything for you, my I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and I am, um, I, I'm I, so just, and good evening to the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm so delighted to be here. And, and, and as, as you know, this event was supposed to happen two or three years ago, and we're finally together. And I am so, I am so comforted and warmed by your presence, and I also want to thank all of my friends at my table. Thank you all for being here. It means so very much to me. And also to my darling Wilson Cruz. If you think I've been here, honey, you have been here as long as me, and it's your visibility 
that changed the world. Now, I, I have witnessed GLAD's impact throughout the years, and I have seen this organization evolve into the magnificent force for good that it is today. So Sarah Kate Ellis, your leadership <laughs> has been vitally instrumental in the exponential expansion of GLAD, and I know everyone in this room joins me in thanking you and your wonderful staff. So, it was the early 90s. It was the height of the AIDS pandemic. And the way that people were speaking of the LGBTQIA community was reprehensible and discounting and divisive. There was no one to speak out about this serious defamation until GLAD. The need was immediate and great, and this organization filled the need for this community. Now, my history with GLAD goes back to those early days, and one such event at that time of the GLAD Media Awards was in a small hotel room with about 10 tables in Los Angeles, where I was privileged to present what was then called the Visibility Award, which was later renamed for my friend Stephen Kolzak. Now, many of you in this room know that Stephen Kolzak was a very powerful casting director in Hollywood, and he had just recently passed from AIDS. And I gave the award to his lover, Paul Manette, who's another dear friend. A I'm glad to hear that you recognize him. He was a, a great author of, 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 of note, and he was the, uh, many of you know, he was the first openly gay man to win the National Book Award. And we, um, we lost Paul in 1995, just as the new medications were coming out to help people with HIV live long and healthy lives. So my deep and emotional connection to this organization runs over th three decades, literally from one pandemic to another. So flash forward to today, from that tiny hotel room with 10 tables to this glittering, majestic room with over a thousand people that resonates. <laughs> with the glorious work that you have done, you have spoken out against injustice that was living just below the surface of the culture. And I watched how you inspired and instructed the whole world of what it meant to speak up and speak out. GLAD has been the way shower in that, in that renaissance. Now, sadly, today we are living through another cycle of violence and sorrow, particularly for marginalized communities as we've been talking about tonight. There are these deeply, deeply destructive bills in Florida, Alabama, and Texas. Let me just say that no one of any race, gender, identity, sexual orientation, or ability should have to face discrimination from their own government. You. You have borne the brunt of a divisive culture, suffered under the wrath and prejudice of people who chose not to see the magnificence of who you are, and through it all, you have remained powerful and defiant, elevating and offering comfort to the community and being a demonstration to all of humanity. So I am uplifted by being here with you tonight knowing from experience what we can accomplish together when we stand with each other in support of GLAD and this dynamic community. Yours is a history of action that takes a stand for what is right and just in education, law, politics, arts, 
culture and religion across this country and around this world. And as we have said tonight, we must remain vigilant. Yours is a history of righteous protest that gave birth to the Mattachine Society, the Daughters of Belitis, the Stonewall Rebellion, ACT UP, and many, many more groups. leading to the legal rights, the health protections, and the marriage equality we have today. And again, I repeat, we must stay vigilant. Yours is a history of inspired storytelling by artists such as Tennessee Williams, Edward Albee, John Mara, Terrence McNally, Harvey Firestein, John Robin Bates, Richard Greenberg, Tony Kushner, Margaret Edson, Lisa Crone, Jeremy O'Harris, Paula Vogel, MJ Kaufman, Michael R. Jackson, Larry Kramer, and on and on, and the brilliant Joey Soloway with Transparent and posed by the amazing Stephen Cannells and the extraordinary visionary Ryan Murphy with his myriad projects and the multiple Tony award-winning producer Daryl Roth with plays like Indecent and The Normal Heart and Glad's unending support of these culture transforming projects is beyond measure. Yours is a history that demonstrates the kind of ideal society we have the possibility to create, and the kind of compassionate and empathetic people we have the ability to be. In the face of fear and ignorance, this community personifies what it means to relentlessly follow your heart, to become authentic human beings, and show the world how to be brave, and how to love. We have watched this entire community demonstrate what it means to honor oneself by living lives of authenticity. And most recently, we see this in the community, those who are trans, non-binary, gender fluid, who inspire with powerful courage to live lives as their true selves. Let, let, let me be clear with you tonight. I would not be the person I am if it were not for your community and for GLAAD. I look to this community, to you, to see if I'm being brave enough, kind enough, aware enough, conscious enough, sensitive enough, speaking truth to power enough, you, you are my guidepost and my inspiration. To be like you is to transmute violence, is to make a stand for selfhood, is to take risks, is to stand up, is to disturb the status quo, is to support GLAAD, is to protect all that we have achieved, and keep moving this community to new heights, is to stand together not only with our words but with our actions, is to embrace love and to give that love unselfishly and unconditionally. And speaking of your history, in closing, I would like to quote Paul Manette from a speech that he gave when he was receiving an honorary degree from Oswego State. And it goes, you can't avoid the world or the lightning rod of history no one will find the way out of hate and violence unless we do. We must, each of us, become a kind of United Nations, a peacekeeping force whose only weapon is the hungering heart. There's only one kind of anger that's good for you, and that's anger against injustice, and remember, there's no such thing as false hope. We all have closets to come out of if we are ever going to be free. Truth. <laughs> Truth is a full-time job and intimacy a lifelong struggle. I promise you, 
All that will matter when you come to the end is how much you've managed to love and how much you have given back. Go without hate. Heal the world. You have given me so much. I dedicate this award to you and to GLAD and to this community. I thank you. I thank you with a very full heart for this and showing us all how to live with fierce grace. You are excellence in media. Let the world take note. Love you.